gothic vampire makeup look. most terrified monsters of all time. This look is cute with a hint of creepy. It's the perfect seductive vampire. If you're planning on being a vampire this year, this look is perfect for you. So let's get started. First, I'm taking white face paint. I purchased this at the party store. You can get this anywhere though. And I'm taking my foundation brush. As you all know, vampire skin is white. Just apply this all over your face and we'll blend later. Don't mind the eyebrows. I was trying to bleach them out, but it really didn't work that well. So just go ahead and do it with your normal eyebrows. And don't forget to get your neck. Now I'm taking a blending sponge. And I'm just going to blend this in my skin. If you have a lighter foundation, that works too. And don't forget to get your ears. Now I'm just taking a translucent powder and just applying this on my face. Now I'm taking a base or primer and just applying that to my eyes. This is actually a concealer that's too light for my skin tone. Now I'm taking a Sephora quad and I'm going to be taking the black eyeshadow. As you can see, just any matte black eyeshadow you have. And I'm just using my Tokidoki crease brush. It's my favorite crease brush. So, it doesn't matter what you get on your legs, we're going to work with the lids later. So just apply this into your crease, kind of a triangular shape. I was doing this, but I didn't realize it kind of reminds me of Black Swan. So just when you do both eyes, they should look like that. Now I'm taking this face paint kind of thing I got from the party store, and I'm taking the white and kind of just melting it with my finger and applying this to the lid. And then I'm going to just, yeah, apply this to both lids and I will blend out later. Now I am just taking a white eyeliner pencil and I'm just going to blend that just to the crease. Now I'm taking a white sparkly eyeshadow. Any white eyeshadow will do. This just happens to be sparkly. And I'm going to set that pencil and cream. Now I'm taking an eyeliner. Any eyeliner will do. Start out thin and get thicker and then we're going to make a wing um, just like this. Just make the outline of a wing. Then we're going to make a point to make our eyes kind of a different shape. Then just connect the two lines, the wing line and the line, then just fill it in with the eyeliner. Now just take a cream eyeliner, just black, and put that on the waterline so it doesn't oh, look kind of weird. Now just take a red, same red from the cream kind of palette thing I got from Party City and just apply that under all the way up to the wing and then take a eyeliner pencil and just fill in your brow so it looks the same color as the wig it really doesn't matter what you use so just blend out with your finger and then or a tissue the next apply mascara i forgot to show that part though now just take a black and um contour your nose now this is kind of hard but just kind of go along the bridge of your nose on both sides. Then just blend with a blending brush till it looks natural. And then just take some of the white you use on your face and put it on your nose for a highlight. Now just take a black lipstick, this is just from the party store, and apply this to your lips, just like so. I forgot to show this, but then just take a red and put it only in the center and on kind of the top lip, just so it kind of looks like, you know, blood bitten. Then just add accessories, I just added these earrings. Then take your wig cap and just fix your hair and apply it on your face, apply it, you know, just put it on your head. Um, tuck in all stray hairs and make sure it's not around your ears and just make sure it looks kind of natural, you know? Then just take your wig, I got this at Party City as I said, but all the links for the wig and um, stuff like that will be in the down bar below. Then I'm just taking a brush and brushing it out. Just brush the wig out till it looks the way you want it to. I love this wig, it's so cool. So yeah, brush, brush, brush till it looks natural. 
I kind of had to play with mine. Then I tried fake teeth. Now, because I have braces, I couldn't do ceramic teeth. I tried, though. As you can see, I failed at fake teeth. But, um, yeah. Now I'm taking fake blood. And this is so fun. I love fake blood. Apply a teeny bit in your hand. And yes, I have Gregory Gorgeous written on my hand, if you guys are going to ask. You now just take the same eyeliner brush and just kind of do two blood marks going down from either side so it looks like you just bit someone with your two fangs. Now just take accessories. I have this cape. I actually found this in my basement. I don't know where, but any accessories will do. I just found this in my basement. And then I just have these lace gloves, which I love. So yeah, that is basically the look. I really, really hope you guys like this. It's so, so fun to do and it looks so awesome. So I hope you guys really enjoy this. It just, oh my gosh, it's one of the most fun things you could ever do. It's so cool for Halloween. So there's just the eyes again. They're super cool, I love these. And then the mouth. As I said, you can do ceramic things if you would like. I just couldn't because I had braces. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Thanks for watching Living for Fashion. Comment your request and subscribe. Bye. Sorry guys, these are just for the thumbnail. And don't forget guys, have a happy Halloween. <laughs> One more thing. This is my first time using a green screen, so sorry it's kind of fuzzy. Also, the green makeup in the palette made it all messed up at one point. One more thing. I was in iChat with Abby while I was filming this tutorial, and she has something to say to you guys. Hey, guys.